So the Proud Boys, right? You know, those little fellas. They've got this like little thing, like a reverse Twitter feed, right? By the way, they're they're talking about Vouch on here. So shout out to the Vouch fans. I know there's a cross section. Your boy is getting exposed. But Vouch is not the only one getting exposed. I news for you, the radical left is being exposed. So, um let's see. Uh here's a uh, one post that I saw. So the Proud Boys are kind of like going out and they're like doing this whole like kind of like they're declaring war on the radical left. So this is uh, an earlier post and I'm going to read one of their most recent ones. So this is just the beginning. Anti-fascist Marxists will no longer hold this nation hostage. Wait a second. Hold up. Anti-fascists will no longer be safe while they're terrorizing the cities. The pendulum is swinging back, and the day of the rope is coming for every single violent Marxist in this nation. So keep in mind, this is the people of the group that the President of the United States told to stand back and stand by just about a month ago. So, that was like yesterday. This is, uh, or that was like a couple days ago over the past, like over the, I think that was during the Million MAGA thing. This was last night. Shills of the established system on both the left and the right were lucky to have Donald Trump keeping the simmering anger of our people in check. Our people are more concerned with morality, fairness, and order than the other side. And it handicaps us when we fight for our beliefs. Again, this is sheer projection. With Trump in office, we had the illusion of maintained law and order restraining us. But even the most stubborn of us are waking up. The system that aggressively broke its own rules to ruin Trump has been the instrument of its own undoing. This is last night, folks. They made the mistake of thinking Donald Trump is who they needed to fear. He isn't. They needed to fear the millions of our people. By the way, 12,000 members. The millions of our people, the millions of our people they needed to fear, whose hands are united and who are more angry than ever. If you're an activist in the pay of the enemy or part of the activist group that takes donations from the enemy, stay the fuck home. All the money and training in the world hasn't prepared you. What's going on here? Like, what are these people doing? Like, they're doing this, like, bizarre... Like, this is, like, some really weird stuff. But, again, this is, like, their their Telegram feed. This is another post I saw. I've been seeing a lot of people say Antifa are the real fascists. So, whenever I hear someone say this, I now get to cite the Proud Boys. <laughs> right, so whenever I get a dullard libertarian coming into my comment section, <laughs> Antifa are the real fascists, now I can cite the Proud Boys. Hey, here's the Proud Boys saying the opposite. I know, you love those guys, right? Stop saying that. They're not fascists. They're completely opposing ideologies. We need to address them as what they are. Anarcho-communists. Hey, that's actually pretty accurate. Ancoms are Marxist foot soldiers, not fascists. If we are concerned with fake news and our intellectual consistency, we must make sure we are calling out the true enemy. So here's the thing. Okay, so they claim to be in opposition to fas- they claim to be in opposition to Antifa, right? They're putting out all these like, you know, telegram tweets, whatever you want to call them, saying that Antifa's evil. We're going to go out and destroy them. We're going to kill them all. It's the day of the rope, whatever the fuck that means. More like the day of the cope, right? So, if Antifa is the polar opposite of fascism, and you spend all day talking about how Antifa is evil, that makes you the polar opposite of Antifa. And if Antifa is the polar opposite of fascism, and you are the polar opposite of Antifa, oops, oops, oops. Only the really, I hate to say this, but those with the lowest IQ. You really let the goose lo- uh, go there? I, unless that's part of the idea, unless they're like coming out as fascist, but there you go. There's the Proud Boys, everyone. They're having a real normal one. 
Uh, they're just having a totally regular, well-adjusted, socially well-adjusted, totally no mental illness whatsoever, totally normal reaction to the daily events in our country, without a doubt. 